What a lot of people get okay. wrong is they think that people go into engineering because they like math and science. Sure. This is completely wrong. Engineers don't like math and science. They like money. <laughs> Most engineers like to build things, like reactor cores. If it were only about money, I would have switched to trading uranium futures a while ago. The math and science you have to do is just an unfortunate side effect. The math and science are like radiation shielding, sometimes a pain, but they protect you from catastrophic design mistakes. Well, everyone starts engineering by thinking, okay, which type of engineering do I want to do? Okay. It very quickly and disappointingly becomes, which type of engineering can I still do? That is highly accurate. You start off with dreams of fusion, and by junior year, you're just hoping your enrichment level stays above critical. In first year, you just take a bunch of STEM classes, but then at a certain point, everyone has a come to Jesus moment where they have to decide between buckling down, working on their study habits, and accepting no sex life, or if they're going to transfer to business. Mm, where I went to school, they called that the M train for management. In nuclear operations, we joke that you can have good sleep, good grades, and a social life. Pick one before the reactor trips. From there, you'll procedurally experience harder and harder courses until you fail one, traumatizing you into majoring in whatever was the last thing you passed. You can fail and try again. For example, software engineers scrape by linear algebra, but struggle once things start physically existing. Why we still check every reactor protection algorithm with actual physics. Civil engineers scrape by statics, but struggle if anything moves. Try explaining thermal expansion, 100 meter cooler pipe to a civil student, instant meltdown. Mechanical engineers scrape by thermodynamics, but struggle when things they're working on become alive. Welcome to reactor coolant chemistry, where microbes and corrosion are plotting against you. And the laws of physics suddenly stop working. Chemical and electrical engineers barely scrape by organic chemistry and quantum mechanics, then shake hands with each other and agree that the cream rises to the top. In nuclear engineering, we shake after surviving both and neutron transport. Handshake's just a bit more radioactive. No one goes to grad school because they all have a C average. Plenty of grad students have Cs. They just have a reactor operator level of stubbornness. 